What's up, YouTube? It's Xana Legend here today just to give a little update, open some stuff, talk about some stuff. I don't know. I haven't really been posting too many videos lately, so I wanted to get one up today so we could do some things together. Now, I know a lot of people have been saying my hand's just like mis mysteriously hanging out over here. But uh, a lot of people have been saying, you know, hey, you haven't been on here, you haven't been posting videos. A lot of that stuff on Twitter. If you do follow me on Twitter, I actually kind of tell you what I'm up to between personal and family things and like how I'm doing on standard tournaments at my local card shop, that sort of thing. Uh, if you notice, we haven't been opening as many packs lately, and that's actually because I've been doing pack wars. And if you do pack wars, you can't really come home and open them up on the camera. So I want to show you just some of my pack war winnings. Uh, this is just from Tuesday night, actually. Uh, pack War has really become a problem of mine. I really, really enjoy doing it. Uh, we did a little bit of cons, and I, I won a couple of those. I actually won a um, uh, a fetch land too, but I already put that up in my binder. And then most of the rest of this is all Origins. Mana Gorger Hydra, which is still, I think, a sleeper card. Outland Colossus, people run it. Languish, I mean, when I pulled that, that was an instant win. Airbus Titan actually one of my friends opened and he did end up getting it because I opened up an exquisite firecraft and it's worth more right now the spoiler of souls pretty crap card flame shadow conjuring animus awakening this is one of the cards that I actually bought how many of this card do I buy I think I've got about 80 or 100 of them now I know I got 10 foils but I really expect this to keep jumping with the, the more announcements we get from battle for Zendikar landfall being a thing uh, I mean, I think it's just a really powerful card all the way around there, and it's definitely one of the sleeper cards. If you can still get a hold of it, pretty cheap. Uh, Pierre and Kieran Nalar doesn't really see play. Tainted Remedy, nothing's really happened with that yet either. Uh, Varen Wingmare, supposedly it's going to see modern play. I haven't really seen it too much in modern. I don't even think it was used in the White Weenie deck either. And I got a couple foils, just a Plains and a Scrap Skin Drake. So pretty blah there. We got a couple of good cards, though, so you can never complain about that. <clears throat> Good stack of uncommons. Only uncommons to note would be like Sphinx's, Chief of the Foundry, Eye Blight Massacre. He's not even used in standard, so I don't even know why I have him. But, yay! Crapola. I've been kind of fighting a cold lately. It's another reason why I've been making videos. Uh, as you'll notice, there's something new, and that's that I'm wearing one of these Fitbit watch things. Uh, me and my wife have started getting back into shape and running and jogging more. And I've been going back to the gym, so I don't know if that's kind of shocking my body right now, making me more prone to getting sick or what's going on. But we did do the, um, this is the dual decks, Eldrazi versus Zendikar. I was kind of curious, I wanted to know down in the comments below, if anybody else has gotten to play this yet and what they had thought about this deck. Um, not a complete wasted purchase as you do get cards that are worth, is it in this one? I don't think so in the other stack you do get cards that make it worth paying back the entire dual deck box here and like your oblivion sour the, the sower this is going to be able to be used with balvers in the car it that betrays was the high end card um in the uh, you do get about six cards i believe i think this vampire warrior is one of the intro deck warriors as well so you do get to keep some of them for balvers in the car and rotate them in with the the uh the different artwork so like I said, kind of curious in the comments below. Let me know if you have to play this. I know they are doing it at PAX. Um, I don't. I, I think they said Zendikar won based off all the things there. But let me know what you've done. I might try to play it later today if I get time. We'll see. But lastly, and most importantly, pack openings. It's what I like to do here. And I do have a couple extra just for the channel. No Origins. I'm getting really burned out on Origins. I've got way too much of it. Unless you open a Planeswalker, you're really just not making any money. Uh, as far as Dragons of Tarkir, you know, really making money in this pack is going to be kind of hard. I believe you're just kind of looking at an Ojitai, a Tarka, uh, Deathmiss Raptor, probably one of the bigger ones. Maybe a Narset. I mean, it's not a ton of money, but let's see what happens. And we'll just go backwards through time and then open all the Fate Reforged next. One thing I do like about opening Origins packs is you can do the whole reverse opening, see if you get a Planeswalker. Can't really do that with any of the other sets, but... <clears throat> As always, we go straight into the Uncommons, Echoes of the Kintry, Explosive Vegetation, Orator of Ojitai, and our Rare or Mythic, Slumgar's Command. Now, this is an interesting card. People are saying buy a lot of these and pick them up right now while they're cheap. Uh, I don't really see... I mean, I know we're losing some removal options uh, with all the blocks rotating out for standard. 
So I guess it's because you can counter a non-creature spell, return the permanent to its owner's hand, and destroy target planeswalker. So I don't know. It's a lot of board clear. So I know that people are kind of talking about that right now. We got a morph token as well. So I don't think it's going to be a complete waste like it has been in the past. But it'll be interesting to see what does happen with that card in the future. First uncommon and our Fate Reforge Pact is right of undoing Cloud Form. Diplomacy of the Waste. Now in Fate Reforge, we're kind of much looking for Ugin, obviously. Is that really it? I think it's just Ugin. There's not too much of value still in this. No, Monster, Mentor, um, Soulfire Grandmaster, that kind of thing. Definitely not an Archfiend of Depravity, though. Uh, being three and two black for five, four flying demon, at the beginning of each opponent's instep, the player chooses up to two creatures here she controls and sacrifices the rest. Not too good. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can pull one good thing in this video. That's our goal right now. Ugin's Construct, Battle Brawler, Irrational War Beast, and a mob rule. Oh my gosh, if you, this is the biggest bulk rare known to man. Let's see why. Let's really go through it together. Four uncommon double red for choose one. It's a sorcery. Gain control of all creatures of power four or greater until end of turn. Untap those creatures and they gain haste until end of turn. Gain control with all cards three or less. <clears throat> Maybe. I feel like if you need this card for four or greater on turn six, you're losing the game. Turn six, if they, I mean, I don't know. That's probably why nobody plays it, because it's just not that good. Hey, and look at that beautiful monk token. I love getting kind of the more rare tokens, just because that's not the most common one. Guys, before we open up this last pack, that better not have a uh, temporal trespass. I think that's who that is on here. Hit that like button down there in the corner. It helps out more than you'll ever know. Subscribe and let some other people know about the channel. And go over to Twitter and make sure you follow me on that. Uh, we're going to be having a lot more content coming out because we're not too far away from Battle for Zendikar. And as you all know me, I love to open product right when it comes out. So expect to see every intro deck, the event deck, tons of fat packs for this because of the full art lands. And at least three booster boxes, if not more. So make sure you, you subscribe and follow now because I'm pretty good about getting exclusive content up quick uh, as far as YouTube. Carsa High Priest, our first uncommon. Sudden Reclamation. Winds of Calicism that was used in the Turbo Fog deck. That's not really a thing at standard. And we did get a Mythic. It's not the best one. It's not the worst one. It's a, a Torrent Elemental. Four uncolored and a blue for a 3-5 Flying Elemental, whenever it attacks, tap all creatures defending player controls. And for three uncolored and double black or double green, uh, put Torn Elemental from Exile onto the battlefield, tapped, activate this ability only any time you could cast a Sorcery. I actually did need more of those, so that was not a complete waste. It's a pretty decent way to end it. Was it worth buying the packs? Probably not. Not unless this card jumps up a bunch. So I think that's the only card that's going to see hope out of these three or four cards right here. So, guys, once again, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys have been up to. I definitely like talking back to the community. Let me know if you have to play the dual decks or what you're looking forward to with Battle for Zendikar. So with that being said, keep playing Magic. Hey, and guys and gals, have a great day. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Join the legendary team today to be the first to see all new product openings and reviews. Also, don't forget to add me on your social networks, and as always, keep playing magic.